Hey everyone, it's Stephanie. Welcome. I want to discuss bowl making with you today. <laughs> I'm so excited. I know this is the second video I have today on my channel because um, I'm getting a lot of requests, a lot of questions about yarn bowl making and vessel making. Um, I make various types of bowls and the first bowl I started with, with videos was my um, fabric snippet roll bowls and I still make those too. Um, there's lots of videos on that and more videos are coming. As a matter of fact, we're uh, working on a, a landscape snippet roll bowl and it's fantastic. Um, I will put all the links to the tutorials or the videos in the description area below. One of the newer bow projects we are starting at this channel, and I have two videos so far, is yarn bowl making vessels. And there's two videos on this one. And um, there will be more. I'm gonna release one every single week. Um, these are absolutely fantastic. And um, you can see here, I've got, I keep my, um, the thread, or I call it thread, <laughs> the yarn that I'm using, I'm keeping it in the bowl. It's absolutely fantastic. I made another one and I gifted it to a friend, but I did not make videos on it. But it's in the community section of this post and you can check that out there. It turned out fantastic. And um, so what I do with this particular bowl, and I've talked about this before in other videos, is I create a shell and I'm with, and I use linen. Uh, um, I haven't tried using muslin yet. Um, I usually just get craft muslin and I don't think it would be strong enough. So I'm gonna look into getting some better muslin and trying it out. So I use adhesive to create the shell. I use Mod Podge. Um, you can also use a matte medium, a gel medium, to create these as well. But for this type, if you're going to take it off the ceramic bowl, which that's where you form this shell on, I recommend at first just using the Mod Podge. Then if you, once you, you've got your shell, you can go back and use other adhesives. Um, but the matte medium and gel medium is a great medium for uh, building these. You can also use, um, especially for yarn, I would say. Um, also, I use um, Aline's Tacky Glue, and it works fantastic. Um, and it really, it dries clear, so in some of the, in the last, I think it was the second to the last video on these yarn bowls, and I think I have another video. I show how if I want to make this taller and I go back to, and I also add more linen to this. So you can batch make these. These are fantastic. Um, I've got like a couple left. I've got this one left, this one. Let's see. Oh, and this one left that I'm already starting. See how I built that up it's like that and so I'm actually gonna build it a little higher and it actually it's, it's it can look like a sculpture so I'm gonna build it higher and then do some um, shaping now I've let this dry for a couple days before I go higher I just want to really make sure this is stable um, so it's, it's going to be in really good shape by the time I basically shape it. Um, let's see. So definitely watch those videos. Um, this is like working with a blank canvas. That's what I like to say. And um, you can also do mixed media. You can do painting. Um, 
Um, I've added, let's see, what else have I done with these? Gosh, oh, I've added mosaic to these. Uh, you can do artist paste. I used grout on these. Um, you know the, um, I can't even say it right, the conch, cock, it's cock. It's the um, seal that they do tiling and showers. I've used that and you can get that at the Dollar Tree. So I've put all sorts of different mediums on these bowls and it's worked really well. Um, you can also use, if you have, let me show you real quick. And I'm just trying to give y'all different ideas. Like I'm, I'm going to do a bowl, one of my bowls that I'm going to be making, I'm going to be using these. Um, you can get these in the floral section at Joann's. They're like broken shells, I think. Um, so I'm going to work with these. So if you're going to use paint, um, I definitely, you know, try working with gesso too. You can put inks on these bowls and so forth. Really, if you're into mixed media, you know just to experiment and try things. So um, this particular one I'm working on, this is a smaller little bowl, vessel. You could tell the difference in height. And um, I'm for this, the side right here, um, I am using, let me put this aside real quick, Wool Ease by Lion Brand. And I, this, I got a huge, this one is 106 yards. And it looks like it's a lot more. It's just because this is a really chunky wool. And I actually, I think I got this for 50% off once. And so look for those cells on yarn. And so, and I'm using up here, I'm going to do some really cool designing of this color yarn at the top. So isn't this neat? Just cutting it out. And um, so for this top part, I'm using this brand. I cannot pronounce it very well. If someone pronounces it for me, then I can say it. <laughs> it's Barocco, Barocco, Ultra Al Alpaco Light. And I'm probably really butchering that. I apologize. <laughs> And this is the color. I can't remember the name of the color. Um, it, it's like a like a teal, or yeah, it's kind of like a teal color. It's absolutely beautiful, and I thought it would go great with this gray. So I am using that, and I'm using my little tool, and I talk about that in the first video of this. And so, and I'm using my uh, tacky glue, and I am just applying glue, and I'm going around. I'm going to do that a bit more, and then I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of this on the side of the bowl and get to a certain height. Then I'm going to stop, and I'm going to create some, like, I'm going to do some de designing in these spaces right here. So it's going to be really interesting. I don't finish the bottom till the very end. And then on the inside, I, for the most part, I use denim. So I'm debating with this one. If I might, I have a couple fabrics that I might use instead. And that's going to be a test because I use denim because of the sturdiness of it. Um, and also, too, you can um, do like little snippets, little patches, and you can um, slow stitch on them and then apply that to the bowl. Matter of fact, I'm working on another one. Let me, and I could show you. This is not a yarn bowl, but it's the insides. It's going to be similar. So I'm building this up with slow stitching. Isn't that cool? And I'm working with my shell. And right now this looks really kind of messy, but I'm going to clean that up possibly. And I am just taking small scraps of fabric 
and just building, creating, layering this bowl until I get a look that I like. And I still have a lot more to do on this, so. And already it's very, look at that, it's very stable. Once I get the denim up here too, it's not going to be doing that so much. There's also, um, let me show you this one. So I made this one, y'all, many of you have seen this. This is calico. And I'm probably going to go back and do some more work on this. But for the inside of the bowl, it's a little snowman. <laughs> um, I, I've got several layers of fabric. And then I paper collaged the inside of the bowl. Like that. And I used in agricultural encyclopedia paper. And you can go back and do like um, a watercolor on that paper if you want to give it some color. You can even use watercolor on the uh, trees and the plants. You can do that as well. So this is these are great projects. I'll put this back here. And um, they make great gifts. Here's another different size bowl. And the great thing about the shells, though, really, is you can keep adding to this and building on it. And I find that for this type of bowl making, the best method, quite honestly. Because before, I, when I was putting, when I was making the shell on the ceramic bowl, I was just going ahead and putting the fabric I wanted to for the bowl and sometimes I would get frustrated with it because of the way it was like wrinkling or just I don't know it probably has a lot to do with the temperature the humidity and what time of year you do it because I live in the south but by creating the shell just the shell you can go back and do whatever decorate it however you want to and, at, and, and not risk messing, maybe messing up the really good fabric you have. So this is kind of like a safeguard, if you will. So, you know, like I absolutely love this fa um, fabric. I did a real flappy ball with this one. Look at that beautiful, beautiful blue color. Now this particular one, I went ahead and put the fabric on when it the this was on the ceramic ball. So there's different methods that you can do with this. Now if I want to go like really stabilize this, which I don't, you can put some denim inside the bowl. I absolutely love floppy bowls. And there's no batting. <laughs> Isn't this great? Look at this. It's floppy. And it's gonna, um, it's good. And this was made with adhesive. So there's, like I said, you can really branch out with these bowls. And I highly recommend making them. So if you have any questions about making these, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm here for you to inspire you and to encourage you to really get creative with these. Definitely watch the two videos I have on this one so far. And I'm going to have all the playlist in the description area below. So, Very cool. So I'm going to get off here. I didn't mean for this to go on and on. But um, I just kind of wanted to give you an update on bow making. Um, and that's one of the main focuses on this channel. So, And also next year especially... I don't know if I'm going to get to it this fall, but um, we're really going to change it up and explore some def different mediums in bowl making. It's going to be really fantastic, especially about how to uh, decorate your bowls. Really going to branch out with this. So, hope you share 
um, this video and the channel and let your friends know if they're looking for a new project and new ideas and bowl making. Um, this channel is perfect for that. And um, I really appreciate you all. I hope y'all are having a blessed day. And I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.